If you are a Galaxy S24 Ultra user and looking for the display update, then sorry. I have a bad news for you. New updates on this issue are here, and these updates are not good. As we all know some people on Reddit, Samsung's forum, and also in my previous video's comment section are saying that the vibrant color setting on the Galaxy S24 Ultra doesn't look as lively as it should. They think it appears faded compared to previous Samsung Galaxy phones. Now, according to Samsung support, there is no fix for Galaxy S24 Ultra display. A person chat with this Samsung support, according to user, just spoke to technical team, and they have confirmed Samsung has intentionally made the display look washed out and less vibrant. So for everyone waiting for a software update or patch to fix this, there won't be one. As we can see in the screenshot, according to Samsung support, Galaxy S24 series model has been adjusted colors and brightness for more accurate and comfortable vision while using. It has made some changes to the display technology to offer a more natural viewing experience, so you may notice differences in color depth when compared to other devices. This constant of behavior in the display is an intended color adjustment and is not a defect of the product, so you can use it with confidence. Samsung support says they've made changes to the display technology in the Galaxy S24 Ultra, this might make the colors look different from older models, but it's not a problem with the phone. Samsung, being aware of hardware and firmware issues, claims that if you don't like the colors on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, there's no other option for you. According to another Galaxy S24 Ultra user, chat support don't know anything. I've directly spoken to developer's team and they said it's intended to look this way. They said the same on members app via error report and also through community app. So the washout look will remain forever. As I said already, if you don't like the colors on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, there's no other option for you. A recent report indicates that a new One UI 6.1 build upgraded from AX, A7 to AX, AB is currently undergoing testing on the server. The build version can be found in Tarun Vaz's tweet. This suggests that the much anticipated update is nearly here and users can expect to see it very soon. According to the Samsung support, we understand that this makes you uncomfortable and annoying since this device is new. No worries, our Samsung developer team is currently working now to fix this issue on your device. Rest assured that this coming software update will fix our problem on our Samsung's 24. Now many of the S24 Ultra users are curious to know when Samsung released this update. According to Samsung support, I understand that you want a time and date for this coming software update, but please you need your patience on this matter. Rest assured that the developer team will work on this as soon as possible. For now, please keep your device connected to your Wi-Fi so that the automatic update can enter to your device software. These 24 series users are dealing with various bugs and problems beyond just screen issues. The upcoming update, scheduled for release this month, might come sooner than expected, especially after Tarun Vat's tweet. The delay is because it's a substantial update, addressing multiple issues, making it take a bit more time. In my previous videos, several S24 Ultra users reported various issues and bugs with their phones. Let's review some of the comments. Adzu Sama mentioned that the Samsung video app is missing. It's installed on the phone but without an icon. The only way to open it is by going to save videos in folders or searching for it in the Galaxy Store, which can be quite irritating. At I am Robert Price mentioned non-stop crashes in Pokemon Go and stutters in Dock and Battle on the S24 Ultra. Hopes for a fix soon. At Sora of Jane 1686 observed that after taking a screenshot with the S Pen, the image becomes dull by 70%, a behavior not present in the predecessor. At Real Vimur reported experiencing a green tint issue. At Comic Con Boo Boo noted a problem with the Samsung messaging app with trying to add a file where it incorrectly states some files are too large to attach. At Jam 5182 highlighted an issue where some Facebook photo links couldn't be opened on the S24 Ultra, resulting in a black screen. Other devices like Samsung S22 Ultra, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and Windows Laptop did not face this problem. At Joe Prager 9961 identified a software bug while streaming audio to Bluetooth speakers. The volume down button would not respond promptly, requiring multiple presses. At Ronald Joint 1169 faced a difficulty pairing Bluetooth with a Honda Pilot Touring 2014. Hands-free link only work for audio, not for calls. At Robert Polak 9,532 reported issues with the S Pen not working properly on the screen when making a note. At Ashfur 5,372 raised concerns about grainy diagonal lines on low brightness, considering it a game breaker and indicating plans to return the phone. These user reports highlight a range of issues from performance glitches and software bugs to hardware problems, 
indicating some challenges with the S24 Ultra. Despite the numerous issues, bugs, and problems reported with the new Galaxy S24 Ultra, there's reassurance that all these issues are related to software, not hardware. Samsung is expected to address and fix these problems through updates, providing solutions to improve the overall performance and user experience of the device. Now, if you have the new Galaxy S24 Ultra and facing any of the new bug or issue, let me know in the comments section. Recently, a fellow YouTuber named Z Tech Cared did a test to see which phone has the best battery life. They tested the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, Pixel 8 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the older Samsung S23 Ultra. They used different apps in this test like YouTube, Facebook, a racing game called Asphalt 8, and a tough test called 3D Mark. The outcome of this test might be unexpected or just as you thought, depending on what you were thinking before. Even though the Galaxy S24 Ultra has the same size battery as the older S23 Ultra, both at 5,000 mAh, the S24 Ultra did much better in the battery life test. It lasted almost 11 hours, while the S23 Ultra only lasted 8 hours and 10 minutes. This big improvement is because the S24 Ultra has a better chipset and software that's been fine-tuned. This shows that Samsung is really working hard to make their phones more efficient. The iPhone 15 Pro Max, which has a smaller battery compared to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, lasted 10 hours and 20 minutes in the test. This means it didn't last as long as the Galaxy phone and lost its position as the top phone for battery life. However, it's interesting to note that even though the iPhone's battery is about 11% smaller than the S24 Ultra's, it only lasted 5% less time. This shows that the iPhone is really good at using its battery efficiently. In this test, among top-end phones, the Pixel 8 Pro came in last with a battery life of 10 hours, just a bit shorter than the iPhone. It's important to point out that all three of these flagship phones, the Galaxy S24 Ultra, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and Pixel 8 Pro, have shown great improvements in battery life compared to the older models. For everyday use, people might not really notice a big difference in how long the battery lasts. The test by ZTech Care didn't go into details like how healthy the batteries were in each phone, order screen resolution, and refresh rates, which are all important things that affect how long a battery lasts. But the test did show that all three phones have good battery life. This means that users can pick any of these phones and still expect good performance from the battery, which is something a lot of people care about when choosing a phone. You can also watch the full battery test video of ZTech Care. Link is in description box. Now let's talk about the second test results and the results were shocking and different than the first test results. Yesterday, TechDroider posted a battery drain test video of Samsung S24 Ultra, iPhone 15 Pro Max, Pixel 8 Pro, Xiaomi 14, and OnePlus 11. In this test, first he plays Puggy Mobile on all phones for first 3 hours. Then he used YouTube for continuous 3 hours with 4K at 60 frames per second. Next test was browsing test, Chrome slash Safari browser used for this test. Next he used Instagram, and at the end he uses camera on all phones until they die. The final results was shocking. Let's break down the results of the battery life test for these flagship phones. Pixel 8 Pro. It was the first to run out of battery at 8 hours and 44 minutes, which is quite decent. Notably, it didn't heat up much. OnePlus 11. This phone followed, shutting down at 9 hours and 13 minutes. That's a respectable performance for a last generation flagship. Xiaomi 14 Pro. Next, it lasted until 9 hours and 25 minutes. It heated up quite a bit, which is not ideal, but the performance is still not bad. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Surprisingly, it lasted until 9 hours and 50 minutes, an impressive duration for a last-generation flagship. Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This model went out at 10 hours and 6 minutes. It has a 5,000 mAh battery and the latest 8th Gen 3 Galaxy Silicon, but it was the one that heated up the most, something important to consider. iPhone 15 Pro Max. The winner here lasting 10 hours and 48 minutes. This is quite remarkable considering its smaller 4,441 mAh battery and the powerful A17 Pro chip. According to TechDroider, both the Samsung models and the iPhone were outstanding in this test. However, it's important to consider the high-resolution display of the Samsung phones and the smaller battery size of the iPhone when evaluating these results. Now, if you remember in the Z Tech Care's test, Galaxy S24 Ultra was the winner, and in TechDroider's test, iPhone 15 Pro Max is the winner. You can also watch the full battery test video of TechDroider. Link is in description box. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. 
As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.